Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel if you are new here and whether it was the title of the video or the thumbnail that you have seen, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy the content today. You can see the title so you know what you're here for. I will try and keep the intro short and sweet but if you have been here before or if you are new be sure to subscribe, turn the notification bell on and leave a comment like let's get to talking. I pretty much post Wednesday and Sunday every single week 7pm mostly Sundays and I do fashion and lifestyle content. For reference, because of this video in particular, size-wise, I'm a UK 8 on top, 10 on bottom, about 5, 6, 5, 7 in height. That will be useful just because some of these coats are quite long, so hopefully that will help you guys as a reference point. Now, with that being said, I will try on these pieces as well. All the details will be in the description box below as usual, so it'll be a try on. And like I said, you know what you're here for, and I think I've got a very cute selection of coats. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, I've been the same person that's been screaming time and time again, like, it's not that cold. It's not that cold. And I feel like the UK girlies know the weather's switching off so, so quickly. So now I'm ba basically back to the drone board of like finding staple pieces coat-wise, like outerwear. I'm not the sort of person that buys jackets and coats every single year. I have quite a decent sized collection already. But this year in particular, I acknowledge that I don't have a black coat. The irony there's only one black coat on this roll and i just felt like because i'm purging my wardrobe i'm getting rid of so many things and donating and just giving stuff away i was like now it's probably a good time to actually get pieces that i know i will wear for another like five six seven years and more so i've got a selection of seven different coats here um that i will try on as i mentioned hopefully these will be to your liking but check out my instagram as well because i have been just like posting on my stories different ones that i've been seeing so yeah um i'm gonna try these on but i'll speak about them tell you the pros and cons and why i might be keeping them or not and then you can see the try on and we can just get into it so i'm actually going to start from this end and this first coat is from weekday so as you can see oh rail by the way my row is struggling shout out to it for staying up for now fingers crossed the first coat i want to show you guys is this gorgeous coat from weekday it is from weekday but i did purchase it on asos this was price wise i'm not too sure asos don't usually have it on the tags but this was quite steep but they were doing a discount i think the original price was about 130 pounds if i'm not mistaken most if not all of these coats most have a wool blend element to them because again if you know, wool will typically keep you really, really warm in the winter season. This one I picked up in a medium and straight away when I took it out of the packaging, I was like, yo, first of all, it's heavy. But second of all, I think it's a little too big. I'm not someone that typically goes for like super oversized clothing, especially with my coats. I do like a, like a little bit of room so I can layer and like wear my knitwear and things like that. But this one is a little chunky. Now, with that being said, it is such a gorgeous pattern. If I come up a bit closer, it kind of has like this purpley brown main tone to it. Then it's got like this tartan print. So you've got like the beiges, kind of like this orangey red color running through it as well. And like a darker black sort of really deep gray tone. Really, really lovely. Now, one thing I would say that totally puts me off some coats is the fact that a lot of them don't come with belts. And as much as I love that silhouette, I do like the versatility of being able to like belt my coats. So this one does come with a belt. Um, as you can see on the back, it does have the buttons as well. So it is oh yeah just a single button then i think you have the button oh you've got a pocket on the inside all right it is stitch closed at the moment but you do have a pocket on the inside um and then you've got the one bucket um one button on the inside this coat is gorgeous now the reason i'm equally hesitant is because one i feel like i could size down but two they have this in black and i low-key feel like this could be my it coat like my black coat that i literally keep for years so as much as I love this pattern, I'm kind of like, Ooh, do I need to size down? You guys let me know in the comments when I try it on. Do I need to size down? I'm not sure, but let's see how we get on. Let me know what you guys think. If I'm being dead honest, this is probably how I would wear it. Not buttoned up actually, because even with my trench coat, I tend to take the belt and like tie it to the back of the coat. So this is done like really, really messy, but literally just like tie it back on itself because I think it just gives like a nice silhouette to the coat overall, but just so we're not cheating, I'll show you from the front. And you know the funniest thing about this jacket, guys? Um, when I was shopping for my classic black coat, I actually saw this one on Weekday's actual website and I was like, huh, I really like that. Not knowing I'd already ordered it from ASOS, like, okay, Rachel. But um, you do obviously have the option of tying the waist in. 
I just think it's so cute, guys. I really, really do. I feel like I'm selling it to you guys, but no, I still need your opinion. What do you think? Because it really is just the size. Like, the sleeves for me are perfect. Like, I love how much room I have in them, but I think the body overall could maybe be a size down. And even if I am gonna do the whole, like, tie the belt behind itself, whilst it looks really lovely just like this, it's kind of like, does it still look a bit weird? I don't know. Like, it really does come in nicely when you do that. Like, if you don't do that with your belted coats, try it, because I think it's such a nice trick to obviously wear the outerwear, but, like, still show off your outfit underneath as well. And as much as I love this print and pattern, I would obviously get more wear out of a black one. Or would I, though? That's another question. Really, really lovely. Definitely a vibe. Nice long sleeves. Length as well. I'll try and show you as much as I can, but you'll see the model picture as well. This coat is from Naked, so... I've never shopped at Naked, um, so Naked Fashion Online. I've never shopped there before. I think there was a discount code I found online. I was like, do you know what? They seem to have like really nice place, um, pieces. I see so many people talking about them. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. This coat, however, is very different for me um, because it's more of a jacket, I guess I should say. In a Euro 38, this is the wool blend belted short jacket in the white and black color. This is super, super cute though. Now, the reason why I'm thinking of keeping this one in particular is because it will give my leather jacket a break. I love my leather jacket. And equally, I think I said in one of my recent videos, when it comes to styling outfits, sometimes it's nice to have outerwear that's like a lighter shade or a lighter tone for when you do want to wear more like paler or lighter outfits, basically. And so it's kind of like in this boucle sort of like textured material, really gorgeous. One thing I'll say straight away is they do have this variation as well as like the cream and white variation, but I just thought this was more more a bit of me so it's really really cute it's got lovely details as well you can tighten this to be a bit tighter if you want more of like that almost like balloon sleeve cuff detail and then it does have the same at the bottom as well it probably isn't best to wear this jacket with this outfit or this dress should i say even though the tones aren't clashing too much obviously i just would typically wear this like with a skirt or um, trouser bottoms instead however this is what this one looks like on now what i should have done actually is adjusted the sleeves because i would you know how i said you can adjust the the sleeves so you can adjust the buckle just there i should have done that before but i would definitely like pull mine in a little bit more i'll just do the one so you can see like the the difference but i think it's really nice to just like bring it in i think this one is really nice like the pockets are a great it's almost like giving me bomber slash leather jacket slash a lot of the cardigans up and seeing the girlies wear as well like the whole like chanel-esque sort of vibe i just think it's a nice hybrid of all of those different things i really really like the colorway because i think it would be perfect with like all black gray navy all of my neutrals like i know it would work i just really like the length so as you can see if i turn around it's like sitting like halfway across my bum which i think is nicer than when it's like super crops like when it's up there i think this is better for me but for the purposes of showing you my loves this is what it looks like zipped up so yeah and then obviously you can like do the whole buckle thing at the bottom i'm thousand percent probably never gonna do that but this is what it looks like zipped up this coat guys is the one or one of the ones i'm gonna need you to leave a comment below and tell me what your thoughts are especially when you see me try it on this one is from a brand called qed london if i'm not mistaken yeah qed london i picked this up in a uk 12 so that's a euro 40 and it is this sort of like borg style coat now the reason why I say let me know in the comments below is because does it look weird on me? I don't know. So this one does have a belt, which I think isn't actually very conventional for these style coats, which I'm really appreciative of. So it does have a belt. And then as you can see, it's kind of like this got this like Borg sort of shirling detail that kind of goes all the way through the collar. And then um, at different points of the coat as well, like you've got on the pockets the sleeve detail very very nice and i think it's just a nice way to like mix up this style oh i didn't even realize it has like the panel like the borg panel at the back there too and as you can see it kind of continues all the way down now the thing i do really like about this coat is size wise even though it's a uk 12 it does fit really well and it does have the lining that goes all the way through the coat sometimes with these coats especially ones that are a bit more inexpensive what you get is they usually have this lining like maybe in the sleeves but not on the body so i do like the fact that it's like continued through the whole jacket or coat 
I'm gonna keep getting those terms mixed up, so forgive me. But say that to say, I also equally like the fact that this outer part isn't super shiny because I feel like that's something you can get a lot with these with these um, coats too. This part kind of has like a cracked effect already, and I'm kind of like I don't know if it's one of those things that will wear well over time or if it will get like more distressed and look just a bit like shabby so let me know in the comments what you guys think is this a yay or a nay so guys this is the borg coat that i mentioned i picked up from asos in the black what do you think so straight away this is probably one of the more fitted ones just with regards to like how i feel in it um and it was a bit awkward to get on because it's like the material kind of like the traction should i say between the materials means like it's one of those ones that will pull up your sleeves if you get it, you get it. Um, what do you guys think? So fit wise, as I mentioned, it's probably one of the more fitted ones that I've picked up. It does have the belt. From a distance, this is giving robe. That's all I can see, but that's what it kind of looks like together. I think it's really cute though. Again, I love the fact that the pockets are in a great place. So like just comfort wise, that's really, really good. Length wise, this one is a long one. We're really doing cozy vibes because I definitely still have my slippers on. But yeah, length wise, I think this is a really good length as well. Like I like how it looks. I actually really like how it looks. This ironically, sort of like the Borg detailing here kind of makes the shoulders look a bit broader. So again, if you're not a fan of that, then I don't know what to tell you sis, this might not be for you. I purposely wore something light underneath so you can actually see the contrast of like some of these coats on. This might be one that I do have in my wardrobe, but I don't know if I'd reach for it as much. But what do you guys think? I love the fact that the sleeves are long enough, like everything is making sense. I just don't know how much wear I would get out of it, so yeah. This one was so bittersweet. Oh my gosh, I know it's the aesthetic and I know it's how the coat is supposed to look, but I was just like, ooh. I can't fall in love with it the way I should and it's this other one that I picked up again from Naked Fashion. For someone like me who wears a lot of neutrals, I think this is just a nice way to introduce something different into my outfit. This coat again is in a Euro 38, so this is the tweed bold coat in the colour black and white. This coat is long, so as I mentioned I'm like 5'6", five, 5'7 five, in height, if you are shorter than me, this is quite likely to like sweep the floor, it's honestly so long. Another thing is it really is, is oversized. And this and the, spoiler alert, the next one I'm gonna show you have really pronounced shoulders. I wouldn't typically shy away from something that has like really pronounced shoulders, but this added to the fact that it's like oversized, I think it's just a bit too much for me. I am again in an eyeing about whether I should size down. So again, in the comments, help me out my friends, let me know. What do you think? Like, is it too much? Is it the vibe? Like, I know it can be an aesthetic in itself. I know the girlies could make it work, but obviously I want something that I will genuinely want to wear again and again and get a lot of wear out of. I come up a bit closer straight away. I'm hoping you can see the black and white. It feels so good in that sort of like tweed material. I love the fact that it's got the buttons as well. It does have the pockets and this one equally has a belt as well. So all the versatility that you need. Let me know in the comments, guys. Honestly, I am definitely, disclaimer, not keeping all of these coats. Like, as I mentioned, I have a decent size, decent range of jackets and coats already. So I am just looking at like really good pieces to add to it. Um, so yeah, let me know. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I mentioned I picked up from Naked Fashion. So this is one I said, I just feel like it's super oversized. Sorry, I keep touching my face, but like some of the lint of these coats are like, it's getting everywhere. But this is what it looks like on. Now, if I just stand straight away, you can see what I mean about like the super exaggerated sort of like emphasized shoulders. And again, I appreciate, especially depending on your silhouette, that might not be for everyone. But overall, it just seems like quite a large coat on me. And size wise, that shouldn't be the case. Um, it does have a belt. So if I just like quickly, you know, bring that across, it does have a belt, which you can cinch in. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like the buckle style belt, but I think it kind of does work with this coat. And if I just bring it all the way in right there, I don't know how often I'd actually belt it like that though. That's the only other thing, but I just feel like the shoulders are too exaggerated. I feel like without the shoulders, maybe more of like a slouchy tailored fit. This probably would make a lot more sense for me. Lengthwise, it is a long one. I don't know how else to show you guys. It is a long one. Um, but I just feel like the shoulders are too much. Like, it's gorgeous, but the shoulders are just, it's too much. 
What do we think? What do we think? It's giving, is it 70s? Like really exaggerated shoulders. So this next one, as I mentioned, is the other one that I picked up from Naked Fashion. Now this one, if I'm not mistaken, I think is in a size down yet. Yeah, this is a Euro 36. And this is the only reason why I'm like, I don't think sizing down in that will make a difference. So, mm, heavy wool blend coat. This is in a color gray, but this color is stunning. They say gray, but it's almost like a purpley brown gray. I adore the color. And that's another reason why I'm like, this may be over the herringbone one. I just feel like this is such a unique color. And I feel like for any sort of like neutral outfit or any outfit you would wear in the season, it will go really, really well. I absolutely adore the silhouette of this jacket as well because it is very like tailored, but oversized. Um, it just has like that classic silhouette with the lapels. It's got the belt as well, just to show you the back. I love this little like trench coat S detail there. Really, really nice. This again is in a wool blend. So when I'm thinking about warmth, you're gonna be a okay. Any details on the sleeves? So no details on the sleeves. I think that was the same for this one as well. Yeah, no details on the sleeves. Anyone knows if you've been shopping for coats recently, um, or if you check the prices of any of these recently, they are not the cheapest. They're definitely not the cheapest coats, but because of the material, I know they're worth it, but equally I need to be sure about what I'm picking. So. That is the next coat. Can I just say, I know I love that green coat because I'm literally like racing through these to try them on just so I can put the green coat on for you guys. I love that for me. This next coat, this is what it looks like. Very similar silhouette. And I actually think, do you know what? Now it makes sense because I think this is part of a collection with Naked, like an influencer's collection. So it kind of makes sense that they have a similar sort of silhouette. I love this color, as I mentioned already. I think it's so, so pretty different because as i mentioned it's like teal and on gray but a little bit of brown element of purple in there it's really lovely however again i think it's the shoulders for me the shoulders are killing me if you were to cinch in the waist but again i just think it's yeah and i actually sized down with this if you remember i said this is in a euro 36 but the other ones are in a euro 38 but um, let me know what you guys think though. Very similar to the other one, obviously a very different color palette and different pattern. But would you say you have any preferences for this one or the other one? Let me know in the comments below. This coat is by far my absolute favorite. I love this coat. And I didn't think I would because it's actually a lot brighter. It's a lot brighter of a green than I anticipated. But my gosh, it is stunning. My sister actually has a green coat, which she bought. Well, she's got two green coats. One that she bought from Zara years ago now. Oh, my rail is tilting. Can you see? Guys, it's really good. Like it's folding under the pressure. Um, I'll shift. Let me shift everything along that way. So anyway, I saw this on um, Naked's website. So Naked Fashion again. This is in a Euro 38. This is a wool blend midi coat in a color green. Guys, this jacket, this coat, this outerwear. <laughs> is so so nice i'm actually looking at the viewfinder and i think the color you're seeing is quite true to the color is that's here with me right now live and in hd it's so lovely the only thing with this coat the only 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 con is it doesn't have a belt silhouette wise it's not a bad thing because it looks really nice on which you will see but it doesn't have a belt and i honestly think this coat with a belt would be a thousand out of ten like it'd be so perfect maybe too perfect so they knew what they were doing the lapels themselves are a nice size i actually really prefer when the lapels are like more wider i don't know i just think it gives like a really nice silhouette overall this definitely my favorite out of all the ones i'm showing you right now it's just a vibe such a vibe it's my fave my babe my cute green coat do you know what's so funny about this coat as well guys i was literally this close to not picking up i was just like do you know what this might be the only order i do from them for a little bit so let me just add whatever i kind of like the look of and just like kind of see threw this in didn't think anything of it especially because it didn't have a belt i was like nah but i love this coat now the only thing i will say that's kind of making it look a bit meh are the creases um, which is annoying, but I'm sure I can find a way to like get those out. Um, probably not iron, maybe like steaming it somehow. But this is what this coat looks like on. Now I know this is gonna be the Marmite piece, especially because it is so bright, but I just think this is so, so lovely. Now, if we're talking about how you can do it up, this is the one that I said is only the button, so it doesn't have a belt. 
Um, I'm very unlikely to do it with the buttons. I can't lie. It is going to be one of those coats where you just kind of like throw it on. But I just think it's super, super cute. So if I undo it again, because actually having it buttoned up is like throwing me off. I just wouldn't wear it like that. I wear a lot of black in winter. Um, if you've been, to, been here before, you already know. I wear a lot of black in winter. Um, so a lot of the times I like to kind of brighten up the outfits with like my outerwear and accessories. So this is what this looks like. What are your thoughts? Are you with me? Are you with me? If you are, leave a green heart in the comment section below. If not, sorry. And then last but not least, we have this jacket, which again is from ASOS, um, but Topshop. So Topshop on ASOS, as you guys know, that's that's been a thing for, for ages now anyway. This is my least favorite, only because of how it looks on me. I think the girlies would do this jacket justice like there is someone that will buy this and it's just gonna look stupendous on them so again when it comes to things like that you guys know i will show you i'm not just showing you pieces that i necessarily want or keep i'm sometimes just trying things for you guys as well this is definitely one of those pieces i saw it and kind of like the black borg one i was like do you know what this is like more of a like a shirling like that double face sort of jacket style really really long but it's in a brown which i think i typically see a lot more like the brown and the cream sort of combination but when i saw this i was like yeah okay this could be a vibe however when i put it on i was like mm, i don't think it's a bit of me i really really love the tone though and i actually like that sort of like worn down suede effect really gorgeous this part here is so soft it is so 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 soft and again, as I mentioned with the other one, that continues through the sleeves as well as the rest of the inside of the coat. It's super lovely. This one doesn't have a belt, so it just has the two buttons there with functional pockets at the side. You've got that trimming on the sleeves as well, as well as the bottom of it too. It's a really nice coat, it really is, but I just don't think it's me. Good amount of weight to it as well. All in all, I really can't say anything bad about it apart from the fact that I just don't think it suits me, so yeah so my loves, this is the last coat on and it's so funny because i feel like now that i've got it on i like it a little bit more a bit to be fair i knew it was a nice coat i already knew that but i just don't know how much wear i'd get out of this something again is too aviatory about it like too bulky as well um, and I think that might just be with how I feel inside it. Similar to the Black Borg one, I think because I can feel my material kind of like, my clothes as in like, kind of, not sticking, but it's, it's weird. I really don't know how to explain it, but that's what's kind of making my arms feel a bit bulky. What I will say is I absolutely adore my gold jewelry with like the brown and the creams. Everything from like the pockets to the lining, Everything is so soft and I know I'd be so warm in this. I think the only coat I'm pretty much set on is the green one and the black and white specs one, like the shorter jacket. Apart from that, the rest of them, I'm kind of like, huh, I'm not sure. Hence why I said I need you guys' help. But what do you think about this one on? If I do the buttons, which again, I probably never do, just to kind of close it up. I think that it just looks too wide. Okay guys, so that is is all of the coats that i've recently picked up from asos naked fashion top shop all of the above there was one that i picked up from h&m but i think i've shown you that already um if i'm not mistaken my row is leaning my poor row is leaning but it'll be fine let me know what you think though as i said i really do need some assistance with what you guys think i should keep as i said i need some assistance from you guys let me know what you think what it looks like on let me know your thoughts let me know if you are going to pick up any of these because i if i do say so myself feel like these are quite different from what i've been seeing sort of like out and about um and i think it is nice to have outwear that's a bit different because that's what all that's all you're going to be seeing in winter essentially i will hope to see your lovely selves in my next video be sure to comment like i said like subscribe all of that good stuff Wednesday and Sunday, 7 p.m. You can catch a video definitely every week, Sunday, 7 p.m. I am here. So be sure to check that out. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay well, stay blessed, good vibes only. And I would love to see you guys soon. Bye.